<coughs> okay, so now time to read data from other statistical softwares, right? Such as SAS, SPSS, and Stata. Now, if you go here in the folder, we have three files. One is employee.sav, which is basically an SPSS file. Uh, here's the SAS file, airline.sas7b that, and airline.dta is the Stata file. So now we'll see how we can read data from these different statistical softwares. We just have to go to haven.tidyverse. Right, and this is the documentation for the uh, Haven package. And you can use this for reading data from SAS, SPSS, and Stata. Right, so let us uh, load the library. Make library Haven. In case you have not installed it, just use install.packages and the name of the package within single or double quotes. Right. So first we'll try reading a SAS file. Right. Use um, you can use read underscore SAS and the file name which is airline dot sas seven b dat right so here you can see the data thirty two rows and six columns similarly you can read spss files and for that the function is read underscore spss We'll specify the name of the file which is employee.sav. Right, so here you can see the data set 474 rows and 9 columns. And last one is stata. So use read underscore stata. Sorry, read underscore stata and airline.dta. So here is the data that we read from the Stata file. Now we can also um, do a bunch of other things, which is basically uh, write uh, data to these uh, different file types. Right? So here you can see them. Read and write, write underscore DTA for Stata, write underscore SAS and write underscore SAV for the uh, SPSS files. Okay, so um, you can use this for reference and you can also read these uh, data from the uh, studio interface, right? So again, you go to file, import data set and here you can look for the options for reading data from SPSS, SAS and Stata. Right, so that brings us to the end of the second module and there are a bunch of um, files that you can, you can use for practicing. Uh, try out the different options. We have put a few case scenarios so that you can explore the different arguments that are there within these functions. And also all the codes that we have used here that will also be available in the learning management system as well as on GitHub so you can try them as well. And if you have any questions or doubts, the first place to go is to the website of these two packages, uh, which are also the links to which are also uh, available on the learning management system. And if you're still facing issues, please feel free to reach out to us. You can send us a mail at support.askmedacademy.com and uh, we'll try our best to help you.